to Adora Bill. My name is Ruth and my little dog is called Pucky. And in today's video, I thought that it would be really good fun to check out this amazing friends sub thing. I've been calling Magical Carnival. I don't know if that's the actual name of this sub thing, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So I thought that it would be awesome for us to be able to take a closer look at this thing. So first up, we're going to check out the Magical Fun Fair Roller Coaster set, which most of it is in this front section right in front of me. So let's go and check this set out in more detail. So here we have the Magical Roller Coaster set, which is the largest set out of this sub, sub theme. And as you can see here, it comes with lots of different bits and pieces. We do have the roller coaster itself, we've got the tent, we've also got this acrobat <laughs> wheel as well, which looks really cool. We've got four mini dolls in here and a few other small little side builds as well. So let's take a look at each one of these elements in a little bit more detail on its own. So first up we have this amazing roller coaster, which does look absolutely fantastic. It would be really fun and I think kind of interesting to be able to motorize this. I have motorized a roller coaster in the past and I would really love to have another go at, at motorizing again. But we also have the fantastic, you know, black and white alternatives going around here as well, which I think is really cool, tying in that theme as well. The pillars are also black and white. We get this amazing teal color with these stars again, which look really cool. We have a few little bits that do sort of swing around as the carriages get pushed through. And the carriages are super cute themselves with these fantastic little bunny faces. And um, obviously we do have a magenta and we also have a purple one as well. So there are two carriages here. So here we have the gorgeous looking big top, which I think is really fantastic. I love this little top hat with the brick built bunny. And this does actually have a little mechanism where the bunny actually rises up and pops back down again as well. It's also quite cool because you can actually detach these two little side tents away from the main tent as well. So then we have a little side, two little side tents, one that looks like it's a little bit of a ticket booth, photo booth, pop snack booth. And then this one is like a dressing room from the back, which I think is a really cool little idea. And some, some of the other details that are worth pointing out is that this central section in the middle does actually rotate. And then these panels also spin around as well. So now that we've taken a look at the big top with the two side tents, Let's take a look at the acrobat wheel. So here we have this really fun little playable ride or uh, performance <laughs> contraption. I don't know what you want to call it, but again, this looks absolutely gorgeous. It's really good fun as well. And we simply just add in a couple of mini dolls to this ride. Let's add in Camilla and Claire. And so there we have the two mini dolls and then we just get to <laughs> spin. And the mini dolls sort of spin around and do their thing, which is super cool and loads of fun. So now that we've taken a look at that, so let's have a look at the side builds in a little bit more detail. So here we have all the little side builds that we get with this set. So we do get a really cool little sign that I think works really well with this set. We get a little stand where we can actually blow up balloons. Again, we get the little magic store with the flower, the bunny and the cards. And then these sort of three builds sort of look like they go together in order to do a little bit more of an illusion show as well. So we do have the little magic box where we pop a figure in and then they are 
they disappear, which is super cool. And then we also have the little magic box here as well, where something gets popped into the box and then that disappears as well. And then again, a little walkway with balloons too. And then the other little detail, which is really kind of cool, is that we do have a couple of these jumpers here so that we can actually swap out the side builds depending on what type of a magic show we want to be occurring on the stage. And I think that that was just like really kind of cool and again allows for greater playability in this set. So there we have a fantastic look at this beautiful magical roller coaster set. So as you've seen there, there is so much to appreciate about this beautiful roller coaster set. We'll move on to look at our next magical fun fair set, which is going to be this gorgeous magical caravan set. So here we have the Magical Caravan, which is an absolutely beautiful set. So we do obviously get the caravan. We also get another gorgeous horse, this time a white horse with the black splodges and the black and white, <laughs> and the black and white mane. No, just the black mane and tail. And then we also have this little side build over here, which is like a fortune telling little booth. So the little tent is here with a gorgeous owl and another top hat. We love the animals in the top hat. And then we also get a little sign over here too. So let's take a look at both of these sets in a little bit more detail. So first up, we will have a look at the fortune telling booth. And obviously we get another couple of mini dolls here as well with Mia and Claire. And so there's the fortune telling booth there. There's the sign as well. And so in the fortune telling booth, we get a little knob on the back there that actually spins the little sign, the three dimensional sign over here as well. But then we also get a little wheel at the back as well that spins around the crystal ball too and it's really cool because the crystal ball is a glow-in-the-dark piece um, with the transparent piece over the top and you can see more detail with the crystal ball that does actually have a happy face and a sad face as well so that's that little side built now let's take a look at the caravan in a little bit more detail. So again, it is so pretty. I absolutely love the way that we've got the black and white stripy roof. It is really reminiscent of like a sort of Tim Burton aesthetic. And I think that the sort of black and white but slightly darker colour palette with the purple, the dark magenta and the dark teal really lends itself to that look. The front of the caravan is very exciting for Pucky <laughs> but also features this little symbol with the star and the heart which looks really beautiful as well and so when we turn the caravan this way you can see all the detail again it is a little bit messy here but that's because we do have to allow for the hinge to be able to open up and access the interior and then at the back we do have the gorgeous little chimney, a cute little lantern over here as well which looks absolutely gorgeous and then the ladder to be able to have access in and out. And again the lovely detail with the holographic glow in the dark stickers to have the curtains at the back too. And it was really so much fun when we were building this caravan on our live stream because a lot of us did actually think that this beautiful caravan was very, very sort of reminiscent of the Rapunzel traveling caravan as well. So I think that both of these caravans do look really, really nice next to each other. So there we have the magical caravan set. So let's continue on. There is so much to absolutely love about that caravan. Next up, we will be checking out the set that is called the Magical Ferris Wheel and Slide Set, which has these two gorgeous medium-sized rides in it, as well as a few beautiful side builds. So let's go check that out now. 
Okay, so here we have the magical Ferris wheel and slide set which looks absolutely beautiful. So you can see here that we do have these two like medium sized builds, we get three mini dolls and then we have our two little side builds as well. So let's take a look at the little side builds in a little bit more detail. So you can see here that we do have our little lolly shop, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous with the black and white candy cane, again, very Tim Burton. And then I also love the little gummy, gummy balls on top as well. We also get this beautiful map of the actual Carnival Park, which I think is super fantastic. Now let's take a look at the slide in a little bit more detail as well. Once again, lots of the black and white going on here with the stairs and these little poles, as well as this main tower here too, which I think is super, super fantastic. These sections are actually the glow in the dark parts as well. So once again, it looks absolutely beautiful. When we turn and have a look at this side, you can see that you do get the ladder to go up to the top of the tower. From the back, we also have a few more details as well. So we do get some juggling pins down here and a little photo as well. And then this is where we actually land from the slide too. Over on this side, a little bit more plain, but again, that's okay because we've got so much going on here too. Inside here, which is where the exit is, we do actually have a mirror piece as well. So I think that that's all part of the illusion with the slide. And since Stephanie is in her acrobat outfit, we'll just send her down the slide, which is loads of fun and just really, really cool. So lots of beautiful details in this set. So let's move that one back and have a little bit more of a look at the gorgeous Ferris wheel. This is probably quite a small Ferris wheel in comparison not only to the other friends Ferris wheel, but some of the other Ferris wheels that we've gotten across different Lego themes. So we can actually pop Mia in one of these little top hats, which looks really gorgeous. And then that swings around. We can pop River into another one as well, which is super exciting since we've actually got a River mini doll. And then we can pop Stephanie into the last little top hat too. Oops, is she going to click in? So a really, really cute Ferris wheel. Again, I really love this color palette. We do have the ability to be able to swing this around, which looks absolutely beautiful. And then once again, we do have those details with the glow in the dark studs underneath those transparent pieces as well. And just for the sake of comparison, you can see here the Ferris wheel from the first amusement park, the <laughs> sub theme that we ever received from the Friends line, and then the magical carnival one as well. So now that we've taken a look at this set, let's keep moving forward. I just think that it was so cool for Lego to include these, both of these rides, as well as a few other bits and pieces in that set. Next up, we are going to check out the Acrobat set, which I'm not too sure is in the shop or not. But once again, we've got a gorgeous horse wearing a top hat, which I absolutely love. So let's go take a look at that set. So here we have the amazing Acrobat set. And you can see here that we do have our two mini dolls, Olivia and Stella. We've also got this absolutely beautiful looking black horse with these fantastic white and gray splodges and a beautiful white mane and tail. This is our little acrobat swing and then we've also got our acrobat wheel which is obviously attached to a little carriage that the horse pulls also. So let's take a look at both of these items in more detail so you can see them up close. So there we have Stella on the swing, which is really cool and lots of fun. 
Next up, let's get Olivia sorted out on this little acrobat wheel. And now we just move that along. And it's really cool how it like just rolls backwards and forwards. I absolutely love that sort of look. I think probably one of my favourite aspects of this set is the fact that the beautiful horse does wear a top hat. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm so excited to see animals in this set with the top hat. Also, I've realised since building this is that the stickers are not only holographic, but they're also glow in the dark as well. So there we have the beautiful Acrobat set. Again, another really cool, beautiful set in this sub theme. And then the lucky last set that we will be taking a look at is the Magical Fun Fair Stalls set, which comes with a range of side builds that all tie together and just make this beautiful fun fair area come together. So let's take a look at that. And here we have the Magical Stalls, which is a really cool little set. It is one of those sets that does feel like it's made up of a lot of little side builds, but each of these side builds are really glorious and quite fantastic. It's also really cool because these side builds can actually be connected to each other or simply be pulled apart. So let's take a look at each of these side builds in more detail. So first up, we'll start with the smallest little side build, which is like a face painting station. Really cute, lots of gorgeous details and just loads of fun. Next up, we have our card trick little stall as well, which looks really cute. I love the details of the top hat and then also the fantastic printed transparent tile with the cards on it too. Then we can have a look at the little ice cream stand, which of course is going to be fantastic at any carnival. Again, lots of really gorgeous details. I love these stickers with the dripping ice cream running down the sides, and then the two really lovely brick-built ice cream pieces on top too. Next up, we can have a look at the entrance <laughs> to the carnival as well. So again, the gorgeous pink and gold flags that we've seen across each of the set and we do have a few of those stickers featured here as well these fantastic lights that do run down each of the sides with the transparent tiles on top do actually have a glow in the dark stud underneath and then of course the turnstile does spin as well and the cute little bunny detail at the top too and then of course last up we do have our magic trick stall as well, which is really super cool. So let's grab our Emma mini doll and put her into position. And so then we actually have our <laughs> Technic pieces and our mechanics at the back that do then actually work in to make Emma levitate, which looks absolutely glorious. And of course we do also have our little white bunny in a top hat too, because why miss out on having <laughs> more little animals in here with top hats? I absolutely love that about this theme. And so there we have our magical stalls. And of course, now that we have finished looking at each of these sets in much, much more detail, we can take a look at all the mini dogs, close up so that we can check out their beautiful outfits, their fantastic design, and so many fantastic details that Lego has included with these mini dogs. So let's start with Andrea who I actually think looks magnificent and almost like the ringmaster in this carnival. She also has a new updated hairpiece which looks absolutely gorgeous and then also some details on her face. Next up we can have a look at Olivia who almost looks like she is painted up in a little carnival clown like outfit and again with some beautiful face paint on here too. Third in line is Emma who looks all ready to participate in her face painting booth in a very artistic and creative outfit. Again lots of butterflies and those gorgeous cat ears. 
Then we have Stephanie in her Harlequin outfit. And again, looking gorgeous with those diamonds and the makeup and a new hair piece for Stephanie as well with that gorgeous bun. Mia is the only mini doll or the fave five that actually has two versions of herself, one in a skirt and one in a pair of trousers. The top remains the same and there are actually two different face prints too. Then we have the first of the original new characters, which is Camilla here. So again, she also has two different outfits, a gorgeous fabric cape and a wonderful hair piece as well. Claire is up next with that fantastic medium azure hairpiece, which is identical to Belle's from the Beauty and the Beast, some gorgeous face printing, and then of course another fabric skirt piece as well. She looks magnificent. We then have Stella, who is featured in two different sets, and again looks fantastic in a Harlequin outfit beautiful mint hair and then she also has her fire spinning wheel too. We then get River for the very first time as well in what appears to be a fantastic tuxedo outfit and we also get Henry as our little micro doll. So there's all the mini dolls that we have gotten for this magical carnival sub theme. I'm just so happy to have had another chance to have a look at those mini dolls. They are absolutely beautiful. And overall, as soon as I saw the photos and the images of this wave, of this sub theme, I just thought that it was so up my alley. It's all about my aesthetic. I absolutely love the color palette. It is just really beautiful and different and something very new for the Friends theme. The details that have been put into this with the glow in the dark parts and the fantastic uh, fabric pieces with the mini dolls as well as the three new characters and the new hair piece on some of our favorite five friends girls. All of that has just brought this sub theme up another level or two. If you do want to see any of these builds in more detail, I have actually built all of these sets on my live streams. So you can go and check out those. It is in three different parts and it is quite lengthy and you do have to listen to me ramble on for quite a bit, but it will give you a little bit more of an idea about the build and the size of these sets as well. As always, I do really hope that you have enjoyed checking out this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know which of these five sets are your favourites, which of the mini dolls you think look the best. It's always interesting to hear your thoughts. And of course, until my next video, please take care of yourselves and bye-bye.